Hi everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video I'm really excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you four new DIYs that I made using things that I already have at home and things that you can get from Dollar Tree. These DIYs are extremely easy to make so I just... I hope that you like them and that you enjoyed today's video and if you do please give me a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video guys remember to follow me on my social media pages all the links are going to be in the description box of this video and every single video and let's get started with these DIYs Okay guys, for the first project, I will be using this wood hanging decor, it is from Dollar Tree and I'm also going to be using rope, you can use the nautical rope from Dollar Tree but I never see that rope in my Dollar Tree so I'm going to be using this one, it is from Walmart and has a really nice color and it is cheap so I'm gonna be using this one and the first thing I'm going to be doing is to place hot glue in the center of the wooden circle and I'm going to glue the rope. I'm going to be gluing it all over the wood in a circular way and I will be gluing the rope until our wooden circle is completely covered. Once I have that part ready, I will be cutting all the small pieces that protrude from the rope with my scissors just to give it a better finished look. And as always, I'm going to be using my mini ladybug vacuum to clean my work area. I bought these at Amazon and it works amazing. So in the description box, you can find the link of this product. From there, I will be using this Dollar Tree glass base that I love um, because it has a really nice shape and the first thing I'm going to be doing is to give it one coat of paint using my spray paint in ultra matte black color. Once it dries, this is how it will look and now I'm just going to be using it as a stand just to be able to glue our wooden circle with rope. I'm just going to put some hot glue and stick it or maybe you can use E6000 because it's going to be stronger and then you can decorate it as you want. You can put a candle on the top or maybe greenery and this will be the result. It is a super simple project to make and um, it looks beautiful and unique. For this second project, you can use one of these Dollar Tree vases. Dollar Tree has many other options and you can also use something that maybe you have at home um, just to give it a new look. I'm going to be using this vase. I think it is from Walmart and I had it for a long time. So I think it is time to change it a little bit. So I'm going to be using the same rope from Walmart and I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to start sticking the rope around the whole base with hot glue. You can cover your vase completely if you want and trust me it will look beautiful but this time i don't know i think i want to give it a more style and color so i'm going to cut my rope and then i'm going to put another one in another color this one that i'm going to be using is a black poly rope it is from dollar tree and i'm just going to stick a small section on my vase with hot glue and just turn it around Now, 
out to make it a little bit more fun I will glue more cream rope on the neck of the bottle and then I'm just going to end up putting what I have left over from the poly rope you can make so many designs in your vase with the ropes you can use more colors if you want or you can use just one color as I tell you and it will look amazing Once finished, you can also cut all the small pieces that protrude from the rope just to give it a clean look. Finally, you can put some flowers inside of the vase, maybe some leaves or maybe a little bit of greenery. And this is how our second project will look like. I love the colors, the texture it has and the high-end looking. For the next project, I will be using this 8 by 10 inches canvas. It is from Dollar Tree and I only need the wood frame, so I'm going to be removing the staples in the canvas fabric. From there, I want to give it a coat of my Waverly Waxing Antique color. And once it is dry, um, with my sanding sponge, I will be sanding the edges of the wood frame just to give it more dimension. From there, I will use this foam piece from Dollar Tree. It is like a baseball play set or something like that. You can find this on the toy section, but you can also use maybe a cardboard piece or a foam board um, that maybe you have at home. And I'm going to measure, and in order to cut it the size that I need, I'm going to be using my paper trimmer. Now I decide to use this scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby or maybe you can use an image from the internet um, but I'm going to be using this one because I just love the design it has and I'm going to just measure and cut the same size um, of the foam piece that we have. You can get this paper trimmer at Amazon and I'm going to leave you the link in the description box. Just to get, I'm going to be using a little bit of hot glue on the edges. And finally, I'm just going to stick everything on the wood frame. Finally, you can use maybe stencils, stickers. This time I'm going to be using my Cricut and I just made a decal with the word home on black vinyl and I'm going to stick it in the center of my frame. You can hang this piece on the wall or maybe place it on any surface and this is how it will look. I love the result and I love the pattern that my scrapbook paper has and it looks with a high-end looking but it is extremely budget friendly to make. For the last project I'm going to be using another one of these wood hanging decor pieces from Dollar Tree and you can fill the hole it has with some sparkling and to give it color I decide to use my Waverly wax in antique color and once it dries this is how it will look and I really want to make a cupcake riser so for this hand I decide to use these shot glass which comes in a set of three in Dollar Tree and they are clear but I'm reusing this one I'm going to change the color with my spray paint in black ultra matte color once it dries you must have to stick it in the center of the wooden circle with hot glue or maybe to make it stronger you can use E6000 glue Finally, I use my sanding sponge to sand the edges of the wood, um, just to give it more dimension. Once you finish, this will be the result and it looks amazing. You can decorate it as you like. Maybe you can put a candle, greenery or a small decor pieces and that's it. 
my loves i really hope that you like and enjoy and have fun in today's video with me and these diys are extremely easy and budget friendly to make using dollar tree items or maybe things that you have at home and you can reuse um if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel comment down below which project was your favorite make sure that you are subscribed that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family remember to follow me on all my social media pages the links are in the description box and see you on my next video bye guys